can you see that? 33 degrees. 33. It's September. In fact, it is September 24th. Why do we have to have 33 degree weather? I'm not a fan. I hate this weather. I want it to go away. Oh my gosh. It's just, it's so hot. Just, oh, it's so hot. It's so hot. It does like, it's so hot. I'm going inside now. Oh, go away, hot. Ah, are there pups in there? The pups aren't even upstairs. They want to be downstairs. Is this the one? Yeah, I fix. Ah! Yay! Oh, so cold, so cold. Whoa, that was, a little, that was a bit of a slam. Probably too dramatic. Pups? Pups! Pups! This is pup number one. Being all dramatic with the hot, cold air. Hey, pup. Pup, 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 pup. I know. Big stretch. And pup number two, being a good boy in his crate. That's a pup, eh? Hey, good boy. Can you see anything? There's a pup. <gasps> What'd you do? Dawson. Here, I'll let you out. Hi, pup. Hi, good boy. Oh, he's gonna walk on past me, eh? So gonna walk on past. <sighs> There's a good boy. And bye. Shade. Whew. Okay, so I was gonna do a car vlog today, but it's too hot outside. I got a fun bag. Look at this bad boy. Oops. By the way, I've been saying bad boy a lot recently, so I gotta stop saying that. But look at this bad boy. Okay, look at that. Home and native land in our proud black and red for Canada sort of thing. It's a fun little like reusable baggie I found at Walmart. I love it. I found these cute, adorable socks. Look at that. Little peggies on them for like when you need to like cat your toes and you like little this little piggy went to the market. It's cute! I don't know. Um, I got my friend, uh, she doesn't, she doesn't watch my videos, but I got her these, and they got little pups on them. Look at the pup! And they're blue, and she likes blue, so. I'm really gross and sweaty, I need to have a shower, so when you see me next, I'll have showered and I won't look like this disgusting grease ball of a person. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Ah! And I'm back! <laughs> I'm a little bit more presentable, but it's still wet. I'm filling in this corner of my room, bed area, because that side of my bed is covered in just clothes and <clears throat> I really don't feel like cleaning it up right now because it was on the floor and now it's on my bed. It's over here right now and I don't feel like moving it again because if I do that again I'm gonna keep neglecting my bedroom so it's on the bed. And you probably clicked on this video because you wanted to hear about my story. I was at work and like my my coworkers and I and my everyone who works together we're like we're pretty like close-knit like we're pretty good fam. Um, just a lot of new people have started coming into work. Um, sorry, a lot of new people are starting to work with us, so not everyone really knows what's going on with me and my bladder and stuff. The people I work with know that I have bladder, some sort of bladder issue. And if they, if I have tried to tell them, most of the time they don't care. Um, I've sort of talked about this before in other videos, but people I talk to about this, like, in public and stuff, just have, like, nothing to say. Um, it, I think they probably still think I'm joking. Um, until it actually like happens where like I just go to the bathroom all the time and they're just like, oh, maybe she wasn't joking. <laughs> I don't know about anyone else who has like a job, <laughs> but when I leave where I'm supposed to be stationed, I just sort of tell someone that I'm gonna go to the washroom if I have to go. Um, I don't know if this is a normal etiquette or not, but I've always done that, no matter what. Like I think it's just like trained, like brainwashed into it at a young age when you're in, you're in school to always tell someone that you're going to the washroom because, I don't know, because, just to like, I don't know, I don't know why I do it, I just do it. I think everyone else does too. Be like, hey, I'll be right back, I'll just, I just gotta go to the washroom, and then they're right back. So like, it doesn't matter. But anyways, I was, 
<laughs> I was about to go leave my, my little area. Um, and uh, one of my coworkers, I asked them if I could, I think, yeah, I always start off by saying like, hey, do you mind if I go to the washroom? Like, I'll be right back. Is there anything you need me to like wait up here for while you do something? Because sometimes that's the case. And then they were like, no, like jokingly like said, no, like, no, you cannot go to the bathroom. And I was like, okay, cool. You know, like I'll just stay up here and wait anxiously. <laughs> so we were just kind of like joking. It was a joking tone. I was like, hey, can I go to the washroom? And they said, no. And I was like, no, why not? What do you mean I can't go? And they were like, you need to put on a diaper next time you want to go to work. <laughs> they basically said like, hey, well, not basically. They said, I just, I don't know the exact phrase that they used because I was kind of like in shock when they said it. They were like, uh, please, you know, just put on a diaper. Just wear a diaper next time that you come to work. And I was like, Cool. That's a fun thing to tell <laughs> tell your coworker. That sounds fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna sit on that for a little bit and decide what to say to you later. So, I went to the washroom, and I was like, that like shouldn't have bugged me as much as it did, but like I'm sure I'm I'm positive had a worse things people have said to me and it hasn't like bugged me, but I imagine it bugs me now because I actually do wear a diaper. <laughs> I have to do, I do wear a diaper at night, like adult diapers for incontinence, right? And our bedwetting and stuff. It was just, it just threw me for like a loop. I was just like, oh, ha ha, that's a comment. Oh, that's a comment. Like part of me just wanted to like ignore it. I'm just waving a piece of cheese around because I'm just eating cheese. <laughs> so I thought about it. They wouldn't even have remembered that they said it probably. Like it was just such a off the top of your head kind of comment that it wouldn't, it doesn't matter to anyone but it matters to me. Like, what are the chances that you say that to someone and they actually do have a, a bladder issue? Um, I wonder if I've ever said something like that to someone. I probably have. And I think that that's what makes me more of an understanding, at least I try to be, um, person. Like, they barely know me. Like, we've met, like, we work together. We've worked together for weeks and weeks and weeks, or probably about a month now, but they barely know me and I haven't had the chance to tell them, um, hey, I go to the bathroom a lot. I just need to let someone know that when I'm gone, I'm not just like running out and just like doing random things. Like I'm actually, I just have to go to the bathroom a lot. Is that okay? Like, can I just tell you that and we can move on with our days? I gotta stop touching my hair because it's gonna get me crazy. <laughs> so I went to the washroom and I was like, oh God, what do I do? So like I had a lunch break coming up. So for part of that lunch break, I think I, I just like, thought about what I was going to say and how I was going to do it. So I was like, for the, like, the last five minutes of my break, I'll just go back and talk to them about what they said. Because I didn't, I really just didn't want it to become an issue. Like, I didn't want to feel like I just let it go and was like, ha, ha, ha. like, what if that happened again? And I'm like, I don't know. They were really chill about it. Um, I just basically pulled them aside and was like, hey, can I just, like, I just want to ask you a question, like, talk to you for a second. And uh, they were like, sure, what's up? And I was like, do you, I asked them the question to see if they remembered. I was like, hey, earlier when I said I was going to the washroom, do you remember what you said? And they were like, no, I didn't say anything. I was like, yeah, like you really, you didn't say much, but I was like, I said, can I go to the washroom? And you said no. And then I said, oh, why not? Ha 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 or something. And then they were like, they didn't say that they knew what they said. But once I repeated myself, they were like, oh yeah, yeah, I said that. Like they didn't, they weren't trying to hide the information. They were just kind of like, it just didn't matter and I get it and I still like I got it then too I was just wanting to be I just wanted to tell them that it was just a little bit too close to home <laughs> for me and they were so understanding and I was so grateful of them being understanding and I just wanted to, to be upfront with them because I like I said I had to, I hadn't yet introduced really myself to them to say I use the washroom a lot at work everyone else knows so I just thought I'd let you know I ended up having to tell them that um, that it's a serious problem for me and that I have to wear protection every day and then, and they were like, <laughs> like they're a little bit younger than me. Um, I'm just saying they, cause I don't want to like be specific about who that person was, but, um, in any format, like it's not a big deal. I just wanted to say they, but they were just like, and then their, their face turned into more of like an, like a sad, like, oh, I'm so sorry for you. <laughs> um, and, but then they were nice. They were just like, so how long has this been like this? And I was like, all my life. And, and they were like, 
wow wow that's that's a lot i'm so sorry they were like super apologetic and i was just like you know what it's fine i'm glad you get it i really wanted to tell you that so now it's like a big weight lifted off my shoulders but i had to do it off my head but yeah i'm sure there's been way worse things said to people at work um like i'm i like i said i'm sure i've heard worse i just like sometimes either block it out of my memory <laughs> or it doesn't like it just like bounces off me and just goes into the thin air like it doesn't bother me but because I said wear a diaper, I'm just like, Ugh. like it just gave me like the wrong. It made me feel weird. So I'm glad I told them about what happened and how it made me feel. I was just like, just be careful next time. Like, you, like you don't know who's got what problem. And I'm like, but I was just basically saying like, just be mindful of who you're working with. And I mean, obviously you would not have known. It was just a joke. I I make this make it more sound like more of a big deal. It was just a joke and it had nothing to do with anything just the fact that um they just wanted to be like funny anyway that's my story it wasn't all that eventful and it wasn't all the, even all that dramatic but i just thought i'd share if you have any other stories kind of like that um if you want to share them with me that'd be cool uh i had a little bit of a break i so my hair's up now so i don't really remember what i was saying i think i was just essentially trying to end the video uh but yeah if you ever have those kind of experiences, um, I'm interested to know how you handled it. Um, oh yeah, so I think I was saying, yeah, I have two different um, embarrassing stories about my bladder, related stories, whatever, uh, on my channel. And I, kn I know they've got lots more. I just have to like write them down as I think of them because I'm pretty sure I just like block them out of my memory. But yeah, that was my... Uh, co-worker telling me to go wear a diaper next time I come to work because I'm not allowed to take a bathroom break which might be a thing I'm sure there's like like I know I've been to like different works I'm maybe I'll just try and come up with a different video just strictly about work scenarios and using the washroom but yeah um I know that's probably a thing somewhere we can only have like certain amounts of breaks but yeah thank you so much for watching um and I will see you guys in the next video so yeah bye oh my goodness my feet are adorable. Look at those little piggies. Look at them. Oink, 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 oink. Oink, 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 oink. Wow, I'm so lame. They're so cute. You can sort of see my purple nail polish through through the, the toes. Oh, wells. But look at those oinkers. I'm so weird. I'm so sorry. I'll go home. <laughs>